My top 10 for Division I women's tennis goes as follows. North Carolina 1, Duke 2, Texas, Texas 3, Texas A&M 4, Georgia 5, Virginia 6, Stanford 7, Pepperdine 8, Vanderbilt all win all the way from number 21, or outside looking in, not even outside looking in, but they snuck in there because they beat number 3 NC State. I mean, a top, yeah, so they deserved it. But, uh, of course, NC State had to be number 10. So you could make the argument that Ohio State or Michigan should be in the top 10. It's just hard. Teams outside looking at it like Ohio State, Michigan, Auburn, Oklahoma, San Diego. Yes, I'm not including. Iowa State to me is like the sixth team on the list. I just don't want to overhype Iowa State because, look, they have a tough schedule, not just in national indoors, but in the Big 12. They have to play. Texas on the road. Baylor on the road. Yeah, I know Baylor's not ranked, but you got to play Oklahoma, Oklahoma State on the road. That's just a Big 12 slate. And, and on the road slate, which doesn't include Kansas at home. That's difficult. And Texas Tech at home. I believe they have to play that match at home. But as you could tell, with the Iowa State, their schedule's not going to get any easier. And that's not including National Indoors, which they will probably not make it to the championship match. Let's just be clear. They're not. They're probably going to get play three matches, and they will all I know, go one and two. I mean, and the deal is, they do have to play yeah, Kansas at home, and they got Kansas State at home as well. Of course, then they got back-to-back -back road trips to Texas and Baylor. That Baylor match is a coin flip match to me. But I would think Baylor would win, but you never know. So I'm just pointing that out because that's a coin flip. Remember, last year was like 4-3. Technically, it clinched at 4 But you know what I'm saying. And then they get to play Oklahoma State on the road. Then Oklahoma on the road. That's difficult. They have to go on the road to West Virginia. But West Virginia, they have no. They should not have any issues. They're the worst team in the league. Let's just be clear. They get to play TC at home. I think TC may be better. But I don't think they're going to lose. Same thing goes for Kansas State. I, they're like one of the worst teams in Big 12. So, And it's, then they have to play Texas Tech at home. So, that's Texas Tech. I think they have the advantage uh, over Texas Tech. Iowa State does. New head coach. But, you never know. That's a coin flip match. So, I just don't want to overhype a team too early. Unlike this coach's poll, which it has to fall in the top 25. And this is the last coach's poll because National Indoors is next week. Starting next Friday, which after that, they're going to have computer rankings. And it's going to be hidden computer rankings. And we're going to know what the National Indoor Tournament is going to look like. So, I'll explain that next week. But Texas is number one with eight first place votes. North Carolina two with four first place votes. Takes a and three, Duke four, Georgia five, Stanford six, Virginia seven, Pepperdine eight. Vanderbilt, 9. They were number 21. And they went up to number 9. NC State, 10. Ohio State, 11. Michigan, 12. Auburn, 13. Iowa State, 14, which is a best for them. But I would warn Iowa State. Hype, though. Because, like I said, that road slate in the Big 12 is just brutal. I mean, you got then Oklahoma behind him. Which I get two losses is, I mean, is better than, is worse than one. I get it. But I think eventually Oklahoma's going to beat Iowa State. So that's why I kind of give them that nod. Miami, Florida, 16. Receiving votes last week was San Diego. They're number 17 now. Florida, 18. Oklahoma State, 19. Which I think Oklahoma State is going to probably be a top 16 seed.
possibly. Cal went down nine spots to 20. UCF 21. 22 is Tennessee. Arizona State went down four spots. They're number 23 now. USC 24. They went down 11 spots. Ouch. You, you know, Wisconsin's number 25. And receiving both teams are like Baylor, Georgia Tech, Kansas, Notre Dame, and UCLA. Yeah, UCLA is out of top 25 for real with two bad losses. I mean, it's not that Iowa State loss is bad. It's just the other one was bad. And Notre Dame beat USC, so they deserve it. I do think Baylor could very well have been in the top 25, but they got opportunity coming up against Florida on Sunday. Besides Ole Miss on a Friday. I know Ole Miss is not receiving any votes, nor ranked. So, I just think, and they, not only that, they have Wisconsin the, like, the following week. So, I mean a week from this Saturday, because neither team's going to know National Indoors. They're just meeting up. I mean, they got opportunities coming. But granted, you know, the, the polls don't really matter until the very end of the year. Just to be clear. And not only that, the computer rankings matter more than a coach's poll. Anyway. And we have to wait and see what it plays out. Anyway. And if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I see you guys later. You can find subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.